Hello and welcome to Neonto Studio Pro. Today I'm going to show you how to create a photo portfolio app by using nested blocks, storylines and data sheets. So first uh, we're going to create new Neonto Studio Pro project file, just new, and let's call this photo app. Then we're going to add data block uh, data sheet for storing the images. So let's call this sheet images. Open the sheet editor, add column, and the column time must type must be image. And let's call this image. Let's add images. So we're gonna put here, add row, load from file, add row load from file. So we have three images in our datasheet. And we can close the datasheet. Then we're gonna add a storyline visual block. And the storyline contains the images in our final project. So we call this storyline images. And then we're gonna click take story points from datasheet and we created the datasheet called sheet images. Let's select it, then just double click the storyline. We need to add image placeholder and this is the placeholder that's going to contain the image that we have in our datasheet. So let's add it this. Like this. So now we have placeholder image, placeholder for images, and then we're basically ready. Then we go to our main screen and let's add a background image. And full screen, and I think we should add some Gaussian blur because it's a background image. And then we can add some sample text. Sample text. Photo portfolio. Align it like this, and we can keep it here. And then we're going to use nested block for showing the storyline that we created. So in the element types, just find the nested block, drag it to the screen, and you have to select uh, from the nested block element, you have to select the content block, which is the block that we're going to show inside the nested block and it's called storyline images that we created in the first place. Then just resize the nested block as you like, like this. And now it's ready. We can just open it in iOS simulator. As you can see, we have three images and the static background image and static text. So you can just swipe it to the right and left and it shows the three images from the datasheet. So this is really powerful and simple technique in Nelto Studio. You can use it as you wish, but beware, it's really powerful.